the highest point in Puerto Rico is Cerro Punta, which yeah. is between Ponce and Hayuya. It's over 4,000 feet elevation, so that's over 1,300 meters of elevation. And then about 200 kilometers north of Puerto Rico, we have the Puerto Rico Trench, which is about 8,000 something meters deep. So if you go from the bottom of the trench to the top of the highest mountain in Puerto Rico, that's about 10,000 meters of elevation change. What happens is most of it is just below the ocean, right? So. But if you take that 10,000 meters of elevation change, it's right at about the same elevation as Mount Everest. So think about how tall is Mount Everest, right? Above sea level. Well, we have that amount of elevation change from the top of Puerto Rico to the bottom of the trench, but we have it in a very short area. You know, to get from the ocean to the top of Mount Everest, you gotta go, you know, hundreds of kilometers but to get from the top of puerto rico to the bottom of the trench is only about 200 kilometers um, so we have a lot of topographic relief on a very small uh area what's the first thing that comes to mind when when thinking about puerto rico's geology for me yeah for you uh, uh i think it's great i mean i think it's really diverse there's a lot of variety in a very small area. We have um, limestone and granite and ultramafic rocks and caves and fossils. Uh, you know, we have uh, what I study, landslides. We have a lot of, uh, we have earthquakes. So we have a lot of interesting geology in a in a small area how was puerto rico created okay so most of puerto rico is uh has a central region that is volcanic in origin okay so at present there are no active volcanoes in puerto rico um but all of the, the middle of Puerto Rico, what's called the Cordillera Central, and, and the mountains in Puerto Rico are all old volcanic and re-mobilized volcanic rocks. So we call those volcanic clastic. And so those are usually around Cretaceous in age. So they can be, I don't know, about 85 million years, something like that. Um, there are other parts of Puerto Rico that are older, that are more than a hundred million years old. And so they have this sort of really, um, interesting backstory where there are pieces of Pacific oceanic crustal rocks, Pacific, right? Uh, we're not in the Pacific right now, but there are fragments of what was originally Pacific ocean crustal rocks that have traveled through time and through space to now become part of Puerto Rico. Um, and we also have the youngest rocks in the island, which are um, carbonate related rocks. So uh, the North Coast and some of the South Coast is covered by these carbonate sequences. Um, about 30 million years to about Five million years old. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's how different parts of Puerto Rico were were formed. And that's also the same for like uh, Vieques and Culebra. And... Vieques and Culebra are um, part of that sort of volcanic, volcanic clastic core. So they have that um, sort of 80, 85 million year old history. If you can, can you maybe s categorize like the main provinces or like the main uh, areas of Puerto Rico's geology? Would love to. Let me use a map. So, hopefully, you can see that map. Um, the yellow on the north and south—that's the carbonate. 
that's the limestone stuff. Most of the island is this light green color, which is uh, the volcanic and volcanic plastic. And then you can see some sort of pink areas, sort of in the middle here, that's near Utuado and Hayuya. And then over here in the southeast, that's near San Lorenzo and Mount Navo. Those are actually granodiorite uh, pluton areas. And so that's, that's sort of the most simple, uh, you know, regional comparison uh, of, of where the rocks are distributed across the islands. There are like these massive rocks when you go to like the landscape of, of rivers. Mm -hmm. It's white, big rocks like in Canyon Blanco. Yep. So can you say a little bit more about those specific rocks and what type they are? And is it, yeah. is, is it the bedrock? Yeah, that's the bedrock. So in Canyon Blanco, you know, you've been there, you have these big uh white that's what blanco means right big white rocks in the river in the river channel some are some are boulders you know they're loose but a lot of it is actually the the bedrock in place <clears throat> that's part of the utuado granodiorite pluton uh about 82 or 83 million years old something like that and um that rock is the same type of rock that's common in other areas of the world as you know you may have heard of the um the plutonic rocks in yosemite national park where like half dome is and they have these big giant mountains just made out of granite and granodiorite and so in those environments like in california that rock type is resistant so it forms very uh large mountains it turns out in puerto rico the environment is very different it's very wet and hot all year okay so the, the california situation it's dry and cold um, but in, in puerto rico we're humid and wet all year and so that environment actually makes the opposite so the town of utuado and the town of hayuya are down in this bowl If you ever drive from Lares to Utuado, you drive, 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 and then you get to a point and you just go down. And that point is when you're going down into the Plutonic Rock area. So Canyon Blanco is one of the lowest points in that. So that's actually where the one of the best places to see the freshly less weathered rock uh, exists. And so. Um, so yeah, that's that's what that is. Um, and I mean, there's a, there's similar places out in the east where the San Lorenzo Pluton is. So if you go to like Yabucoa or Mount Nabo, you'll see these big, round, white boulders. And you know, there's a lot of like little communities called like Piedra Blanca or you know something like that, just because of the the way the rocks are and and. In, in my experience, geology was, and geology and like earth sciences w were overlooked in like, especially in my middle school and high school in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Like, we never like touched those subjects. So my question for you would be like, do you think a greater focus on like geological education is crucial for like preserving landscapes and tackling environmental issues in Puerto Rico? In other words, should we have more geologists looking out for Puerto Rico? Yeah, we we should have more focus on uh, you know educating kids here, especially about you know it doesn't have to be sedimentary, igneous, metamorphic, or whatever, but at least in a in a general sense about the natural world, the environment, the earth, um, you know things like that, I think will be great. And I think there's a lot of groups that are trying to do that. So 